Lagavulin 12 year 2017 versus 12 year 2019. How do these compare? Stay tuned for the whiskey whistle. Greetings and salutations, my whiskey friends. Mark here from Whiskey Whistle on YouTube, sharing a little whiskey awesomeness from Winnipeg, the center of North America, bringing you a double take of Lagavulin, a 12 year old special here. We've got the 2019, the new one. That's a, a little sample that I got from Victor from the Winnipeg Whiskey Club, Victor Wang. Thank you very much, sir. And also the 12 year 2017. This was showcased at the uh, the January Winnipeg Whiskey Club event here in Winnipeg. So let's see how these compare and contrast and we'll give them both a whiskey whistle whiskey score and see which one you should be chasing because they're actually both still available in a lot of markets. All right, we'll, we'll pour the, the 2017 year first of all into the Glencairn here. Not too much, that's good. This is 56.5% ABV. Pretty sure it's unchill filtered, no mention as to color, but that's very light. And my guess is that that's all natural. Same with the 2019, similar color. These are all done in refill X American oak casks, probably X bourbon, probably second fill-ish. Okay, about the same amount, save a little taste for later. Again, thanks a lot, Victor. Really appreciate it. All right, so let's put a little lid on those first of all. First of all, we're gonna check out the color of these two whiskeys. We'll look at them side by side, and you can see for yourself, they're very, very light. A light lemon, um, lemon to uh, slightly, um, slightly darker, like lemonade, or um, um, like a, I don't know, like a, what color is that? Very beautiful, pale, pale, pale yellow. That is like um, apple juice cut with water, isn't it? All right, interesting. Okay, and that's the 2017 on my left, and that's your right, and the uh, the 2019 on my left, uh, my right, which is your left. <laughs> okay, so we'll look at the 2017 first of all. Let's check those legs out together. All right, so the legs for the 2017. Oh, so slow, very trickly. Beautiful legs. Very, very slow. Look at the beading on this one back here. Can you see that? Hmm. Okay, and how about the 2019? Let's see what that's like. Take that off for a minute. All right, so for the 2019, similarly very slow. Look at that. Interesting legs for this whiskey. I dare say they're identical in uh, mouthfeel. Now, there was a big change up. So the former 12 year olds from 2018 and earlier had the standard lag of woolen packaging. And then for 2019, as I'll, I probably have put in the opening, they've done a very different motif for the special release 2019 for Lagavulin. And I think the price also eked up quite a bit. So I think some people are a little bit um, put off by the price, by the change in packaging. Uh, personally, I feel like, well, you refresh the package you get more eyes on your brand and if that if you've got whiskey that does the talking um, then uh, the, the walking pardon me then you probably have a perfect storm for increased sales so let's hope that that's what happened okay so we'll start with the 2017 and check out the nose and the palette neat big lemon smoky charred oak antiseptic band-aid fresh peaty delicious nose very very lemon dominant here to me this is an art bag killer because it takes away it goes away from the the sherry lagavulin style 
and you're getting this predominantly ex-American oak, uh, ex-bourbon American oak type of a scent here, which leaves the whiskey to its distillery character, I feel. So, so meaty. Some charred beef. All right, onto the palate. Cheers, folks. Mm. Tart, bitter, astringent, lemony, smoky. Um, again, charred beef, not uh, not smoked, but charred beef type of a, um, a palate here. Hmm. Super long, delicious finish. Vanilla throughout here. So really interesting having that vanilla, a uh, little bit of pineapple layered together with this vanilla, sorry, um, uh, lemony smoky peaty event here interesting let's add a little bit of water to that one maybe a touch more that'll be about a, a one milliliter added to 15 and we'll put the lid back on and go on to the 2019 super excited about this victor again thank you so much Okay, the nose. Much more vanilla-esque. It's lost that, there's no lemon-esque note here. We have a bit of citrus, but um, let's say orange flesh, not the, not the rind. A little bit more vanilla not quite as antiseptic and now we have um, hmm charred teriyaki pork and a little bit of a gust of wind here blowing really lovely this is really interesting what I think we have here is possibly the difference between air dried maybe versus mechanically dried oak yeah I knew that was gonna happen we'll let it lie Ooh, I'm so excited about this all right the palette Cheers, folks. Cheers, Victor. Hmm. The lemon returns on the palate, but it's infused with vanilla. Lemon vanilla with lots of this uh, charred sort of teriyaki pork going on here. Mmm. Not teriyaki. Korean bulgogi pork. That's really nice. Um, it's a little bit of a sweeter event. But similar long, amazing, smoky, vanilla... Slightly dry, astringent finish here. A little bit more oak forward. Okay. Let's put some water in there. Shake it about. And put a cap on it. Okay, so the 2017. I think I need a bit of coffee first. That's cold coffee now. All 
Okay, so the nose for the 2017 Lag 12. Less um, lemon now, a little bit more vanilla. Big coconut now. Pineapple core. Pineapple seeds. Yes, you got to eat those seeds and see what they're like. Hmm. So mouth coating, it hits you right to the back of the throat. Delicious, smoky, dark rye bread toasted with butter. Hmm. I really feel like this is their version of Ardbeg 10. Delicious. Final taste here. Yes. Lure pack butter on dark whole grain rye, thinly sliced Danish bread. Beautiful dry rye spice finish here. Smoky throughout. We've got the smoked beef there. Lemon also. Very, very long finish. It's it's all over my mouth, and if I didn't try anything else tonight. I would probably taste this for a good hour. All right, well, let's get on to the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score as I reach to grab this fallen box. The Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Lagavulin 12 year old cask strength 2017 special release. What is that going to be, folks? It's going to be 92 out of 100. You heard it, 92 out of 100 is the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Lagavulin 12 year old from 2017. Make sure you look for that. I think you'll like it. I think this is a really great example of the raw power of Lagavulin without any sherry to soften the, uh, the sharpness. Okay, now let's get into that 2019 with water added. Are you excited? I am. It's just so silky. It's like there's been a dollop of vanilla ice cream added to the top of a honey coated dark rye toast with butter. Um, and you still have that smoky bulgogi pork coming through there. with a lot of black bits that the Koreans like to cut off. Don't cut that off. Just eat it, live a little. Who cares about uh, the possible increase in chances of getting cancer? If you don't have um, that kind of meat every day, then just have a little taste now and again. The palate. It's fruitier. You get some added orchard fruits. A little bit saltier. Um, again, none of that antiseptic, but still lots of nice wood smoke. This as well gets you right in the back of the throat. And yes, a nice malt, uh, Scotch single malt whiskey hug that you get in uh, in your chest. Hmm. Delicious. Very long finish. Again, a little bit more vanilla dominated. So slightly more lemon, more tart with the 2017. A little bit sweeter, a little bit more vanilla oriented for the 2019. Both delicious versions of the same thing. Well, let's get on to the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Lagavulin 12-year-old, the 2019 special release. I'll put the image here. 
What is that going to be, folks? It's going to be 92 out of 100. You heard it. 92 out of 100 is the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Lagavulin 12, the 2019 release. We've got variations on a theme here. They're both excellent. I highly recommend both of these. And uh, price-wise, for the 2017, it's 140 pounds UK. A little bit pricey for 12 years old. But given that it's a special release and that it is cask strength, and it's very, very, very nice. Excellent, in fact. I think that's a pretty good price. And for the 2019, well, this is $200 Canadian here in Canada, in Alberta. It's still in stock, so you can still get that. I think it's well worth it, especially if you are an Isla whiskey fan. Um, so grab that before it's gone. And again, thanks so much, Victor, for giving me that sample. That's really, really awesome of you. I hope you enjoyed the Glen Ord 18 that I gave you in, in exchange. All right. Well, hope you enjoyed that, that uh, duo of Lagavulin 12. Make sure you hit the link over here to subscribe to Whiskey Whistle. Click on the bell so that you're notified of future Whiskey Whistles. That helps the channel immensely. And uh, jump in and support the channel on Patreon. Patreon.com backslash Whiskey Whistle. Join the Whiskey Whistle crew. And if you're Winnipeg, you got to join the Winnipeg Whiskey Club. All right. Take care, everybody. We'll see you for the next one. Goodbye now.